Good day. I was flying space freighters around the universe when I first met Laika. I was a medical student at the time, and I hitched a ride with Roger. I was searching the universe for rare plants, the ones that might have medicinal value. Then my freighter was shot down by a pirate ship, and we were taken prisoner by short Fred Lead. Oh, Eck, scuttle me bones! We were to be sold as slaves to the evil Dr. Aegon. It all looked pretty hopeless. But we were rescued by Captain Thrice and joined him as part of his crew. I was made the ship's doctor. Now we've joined Captain Thrice in his relentless search for Lavender Castle. Oddly enough, I still search for rare plants. When Captain Thrice became ill, I was able to cure him with the extracts from the Wombo plant. Mind you, getting hold of it wasn't easy. I ran into a bit of trouble with one of the residents of the planet Quagmire. Never mind who I am, young lady. This here is my land and you're trespassing. Oh, I love flying. That's how I got my name. You see, Lycus, the name of a butterfly. For some reason, I always seem to end up flying with Sproggle. But that's all right because he's my favourite member of the crew. You see, Sproggle's an orphan. And I suppose I tend to mother him. Captain Thrice is very fond of him too. He must be to keep him on as navigator. Sproggle, where's the signal coming from now? Between a bit to the right and a little bit more to the right. He's trying his best. I know, that's what worries me. One thing that's really nice about living on the Paradox is that the males and females are treated as equals. <laughs> that's not strictly true, Laika. But, Captain, you treat Walking Stick as an equal. Yes, but she doesn't treat me as one. Uh, I simply said that you need someone to prop you up. Now, come on and don't miss a touchy. <laughs> oh, goodness, it's time for the next adventure. I must fly. Hey, wait for me.